Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay XCOM UFO Defense. When last we left off, things could be going better, mainly because we're in the middle of a terror mission at the dead of night. They are the worst kind of missions to be engaging in at night, but we had very little choice. We have lost one operative, Makiko, who threw an electro flare, and then promptly got shot. It's unfortunate, and I should have probably shot first, but it was very likely that she was going to die anyway. So we're just going to keep that in mind, and keep moving. We need to make sure that we, uh, get rid of all of the aliens as quickly as possible. Anyone in here? Yes, there is. There is you. Hello, you. We could shoot you twice with a snapshot, and maybe in the back you have less armor. That is one miss, and that is one miss. Never mind. Keep moving away. We want you to go over to here, maybe? You might have enough so that you can take one reaction shot if you were to go over there, but it's very likely that you're not going to do that. We also want you to uh, stay by this corner. We need you to move. We may want a snapshot, but we really just want you to move. We also want everyone away from the Sky Ranger at this point. Being by the Sky Ranger, a bad thing. And there is one alien. Yep, that alien there. You could take a shot if you had some uh, turn units, but you don't. No turn units or time units. Doesn't matter what I call them. They're both the same thing. We probably want you away from there as well. Can we get you over to here? We could. Better to put you here, behind this uh, telephone booth. There we go. It's a tiny amount of defense. It's really not going to help you in the long run. But the sooner we are out of the open, the better off we'll be. We're going to put Dr. McCoy here, behind the bin, and around these uh, poles that will definitely help protect him. And you can see a foe. You can see nobody. But I imagine if there was a foe, you can't see them anyway. Turn over there, just in case. Nope, can't see anyone. Let's just then return and see if anybody dies. Well, that was one civilian that's dead. And there's somebody over there. You're going to move over there. Somebody tried to shoot you. From the darkness of that alleyway, somebody tried to shoot. We could just shoot back. That would be a terrible idea, but we could just fire back with the rocket launcher. One snapshot over to here, and we could see what happens. It could work. It probably won't. I imagine there'll be a grenade thrown pretty soon, and we don't want a grenade thrown. Let us, uh, go round this corner quickly and see if we can find anyone. Is there an alien here? The answer is yes, there is an alien right there. We can take a few shots. Maybe we'll be able to actually hit it. That wasn't good. That was a shot, but if we, uh, if we take another shot, we're probably, yep, we won't be able to move away. So, let us quickly move away. There we go. Better to be cautious. You could take a few shots though, Kratom. Turn round there, and we know that the alien is here. So, take a shot. Well done. One alien dealt with. One less to worry about. I'm really concerned about over here, though. Really concerned that something bad is going to happen. Let us just move further in, shall we? I feel like moving over to here is a good idea. There's a lot of cover here that we can take advantage of. If there is an alien above us, that will not end well for most of our soldiers, but we have few choices right now. Go round this corner, Gaston. There we go. Nobody hides in a building like Gaston. I really want to take a shot with you, but if there are no aliens here, then we are in some bother. A snapshot over there would probably not hit. We could try, though. We could try. Actually, no, no, it's not a good idea. It's really not a good idea. We can get you over to there. That's probably a sound idea. Getting you away from that open area is our priority. Getting everyone out of the open area is our priority right now. That area is just a death sentence waiting to happen. One grenade and we'd be in some serious, serious trouble. We do need somebody to uh, cover the uh, rear though, so we're going to leave Dr. McCoy here while we move Awesome Possum away. How far can you move? Not very far, but we can at least move you over to here. 
let's have that happen, shall we? There we go. You are now out of immediate danger. If anyone else is out of immediate danger, remains to be seen. End turn. There is a shot there. And a shot there. Oh, Kratom. That was definitely from above. There is a floater somewhere around here, floating above, trying to take shots, and uh, Kratom was just in the wrong location. We're going to have to deal with that alien later. For now, we need to move forward and uh, probably have Dr. McCoy go and throw one of the uh, electro flares. We probably want Gil Pirate to throw his as well. There is an alien nearby, right there. Was that the alien that killed, uh... No, it probably wasn't. It could have been, though. Let's see if we can take a good shot here. Not likely. Not likely at all. Pretty terrible. Even worse. That was a hit, but we got a shot back for our uh, troubles. Let's move away, shall we? I think over to here should be a good plan. Now, can you take a shot from here? We know, yes indeed, we know that there is an alien there, so a snapshot should potentially get through. It's gonna be tricky, though. Thread the needle, Barry! That wasn't even anywhere near close to threading the needle. That was better, though. How many more shots can we take? We can take two more quite safely. And that was bad, and that was also bad, but we can have you move away. There we go. Time for you to try, Angel. Can you do any better? That remains to be seen. 22% accuracy? We could use a lot of our turn units, but it's really not worth it. We'd only gain uh, a little bit more accuracy, and we can take far more shots if we just uh, use snapshots. There we go. Marvelous! One more floater taken care of. One less to worry about. There is an upstairs to this area, we could go up there and uh, see if we could get a shot at the floater that uh, probably killed uh, Kratom. Definitely over here, somewhere. For now, I just want to uh, reposition people so that we're less likely to lose them. We could actually start moving Sub-Zero over to there, so that we could maybe go upstairs. Going upstairs might not be a bad plan, and then there are 17 aliens there and it just doesn't end well for us. Dr. McCoy, need to have you over here. We only have eight operatives left, and uh, we need to be careful with the operatives we have. We also need to try and save some civilians, but let's be honest, we're over here. The civilians are all the way over there. It's not likely right now. Let's just have you turn there. And you need to turn there just in case somebody floats over here. You can then look them in the eye as they shoot you. Let's end the turn. Hidden movement, lots of hidden movement, no gunfire, which tells me that either the uh, aliens haven't found any more civilians, or all the civilians are dead. Both could be possible. Anyone behind us? No. Definitely need to watch out for enemies behind us. You just uh, move over to here. I think uh, Gil Pirate should do that. We need to cover the rear and we need to move you up to about here. There we go. Sub-Zero, you need to go to this upper area and see what you can find. There's nobody here, which is okay. We need to have a snapshot ready. Any doors? No. So we can't do anything here. Back down we go then. It's not a bad thing to uh, just check to see if there are any aliens there. No aliens though. Any aliens here? No. We could move out and uh, see if we could find someone. It's probably a good idea to throw one of these electro flares just uh, a little bit further ahead. To here, for instance. Good thing we did, because hello, you're a problem that we need to deal with. Let's see if we can shoot you through a window. No is the answer. No, we cannot. Time for you to back up quite a bit and uh, for us to get ready for that encounter. In theory, you could shoot. Uh, it's probably not going to work, but we could try. We could try. 26%, 11 turn units. Let's give it a go. One hit. Not bad. Two hits. Even better. That was not so good. How many more? We could actually do one more shot. That was rubbish. So let's just move away and uh, get you to fire as well. 
There we go. How many shots can we get off here? Quite a few. Let's give it a go. One hit. One miss. Another hit. And one miss. That's fine. I doubt that uh, alien is going to know what we're doing. At least I hope that alien doesn't know what we're doing, because if that alien does know, we're in trouble. Let's just do a count to see if we've uh, got everyone. Yep, I think we have everyone. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let's just go through all of the units. There we go. Oh, there's one unit over there I completely forgot about. Hello, Dr. Grant. Completely forgot that you were there. That's kind of bad. Any aliens over here? You could make a run for it. Probably better for you to go over here, though. Or over here. Over here is probably better. Just run! Completely forgot about you. No wonder you're still a rookie. End turn. Let us see what that, uh... Oh, more gunfire. They have found someone. And I believe that is over there. Has that, uh... Yep, I believe that alien has moved. That's not good. We wanted that alien to stay around there and, uh... Allow us to shoot it. But we're gonna have to move forward and uh, see if we can find any aliens. Forward we go. Aha! There's the alien. We can take a few shots with our uh, laser pistol here. Not there, though. Not there. Where can we shoot? It seems like we cannot actually shoot. We could uh, try and shoot. We could have awesome possum try! Oh my, that would be bad in close quarters. That would be pretty terrible. That would be really bad. We could just try and shoot here at this. Or there. No, generally firing here is going to be a poor plan, isn't it? A very poor plan, especially considering that uh, we know that there's somebody up here that may try and shoot us. Okay, what can we do? We could have you move forward. That seems like a good idea. Just move forward. Can you shoot from here? Maybe you can. Yes. Another shot? You're not gone yet. We have 11 turn units. That was terrible. Can we have you move? Yes. We could have somebody else move over there if we wanted to. Like Barry. Barry, move over there. Can you shoot from here? That might be good. Not there. There, though, you can. We're not doing very well from there, but you could certainly try. And we should probably have you move back to the safety of here. I know you're saving for a snapshot. I want you to save your life first. We'll have you uh, go over here and see if we can get a couple more shots off. Maybe two or three. That's one there. And one... Nope, oh, that's the end of the telephone box. That's not quite what I wanted to have happen. Time for you to move. And time for you to go over here. Maybe we can get a few shots off with Sub-Zero here. And finish off this alien. Nope. And I don't want to risk any more shots. So, uh... Let's just, uh... Oh yes, I forgot Gaston was there. Totally forgot. Let's, uh, have you go over here. And have you hide over here. It's okay, Gaston. You totally won't hit your companion there. If you move there, though, you definitely won't. Let's see what happens if we get you to shoot a few times. That was a terrible shot. That was better. And that enemy is finally gone. Good. We can move you to here. Okay, we can't move you to there. What about here? We can move you there, though. And we can't have you turn around. We don't have many actions. Awesome Possum could move to a slightly better position. Right now, I just want to end the turn. Yep, there's definitely aliens over there. There are a fair few aliens around. We need to be careful of all of them. Okay, Gaston, we need you to move forward. We also need uh, Dr. McCoy to move forward. A little bit. A little bit more. A tiny bit more. We still can't see any aliens that are nearby. What if we have, uh... Let's see. What if we have Gaston move into this building? We can't see any aliens. Somebody's definitely gone through here at some point. Probably an alien. Any aliens over here? No. Crouch so that you're less likely to be hit. Same for you, Dr. McCoy. We don't want to move around that corner while we know that there is an enemy there. But Angel can move here. Maybe over to here? And crouch. And you're going to move over to here. 
very slowly we're going to clear everything that we can. It is very slow, it is very methodical, we really have to do that. You could move over to here, and that is actually a really good idea, because that means that you could quickly pop out and take a shot if you need to. Guild Pirate, you need to go over here, you're going to take up that position by the window, and we're going to have you quickly turn around. Nobody here. Good. Dr. Grant, you just move up as well. I imagine the aliens are going to start searching for us pretty soon. Still no movement that we could hear, which means that it's very likely that uh, something bad is going to happen. If we move you to here, and then we can throw this to here maybe? No enemies that we can see, but lots of buildings, which means that this is a really bad place to go. Okay, Dr. McCoy, quickly move out here, grab this, and pick it up. There we go. Now you can move to the relative safety. We could move to the relative safety of there. It might not be safe. Go in anyway. Well, there are no aliens in here, so we might have made a good decision. Then again, this just opens out to here, so if there are any aliens there, we have made a terrible decision. Time for you to move over to here, I think. Still haven't found any aliens yet. Best to move you to here. It's going to take a lot of uh, your TUs, but it means that you're less likely to get shot by anyone else. You're going to move to... Uh-oh! Well, that's not good. There's an alien right there. Which means that uh, you're in trouble, Dr. McCoy. You're in serious trouble, unless we can deal with you. Fire! That was terrible. Fire again! Good shot. You fired back, but you missed. Don't shoot, uh... Oh, are you still alive? You are still alive, but you will be dead in 11 turns. That's not good. Can we fire once more? Fire once more! That was bad. Time for you to move out there. Can you shoot? You probably could if you were there. There's somebody here that could shoot, though. We'll have you take a few shots. There we go. How many can you do? A couple. We'll try two. That wasn't good. That was nearly there, but not quite. Just move back. Could we have you move to here and fire? No. No, we could not. So we're just going to have to uh, have you try a few shots. It's going to be 34. You're not going to get many shots from there, are you? But we're going to have to try. 24%? We have to try and save McCoy. I think McCoy is doomed. But we could shoot one more shot. Don't try it. Do not risk being in the open and just getting shot. McCoy, I highly hope that you survive this. You're not likely to- Oh, there was another person there. Not good. Not good at all. So there's somebody over here and somebody over here. Okay. Are you still there? No. You've gone. That's really unfortunate. Really unfortunate indeed, because uh, we need to go into there. We've lost one agent there, one agent there, and one agent here. And slowly but surely, you're going to bleed out if we're not careful. Do you have a medkit? You do not have a medkit. Somebody else does, though. You do, I think. Do you? You do. If we do that, and then have you here, turn there, and then use a medkit, we can use a heal on the torso, and you should be fine now. There we go. Much better. It took a lot of our turn units, but most importantly, you're no longer going to bleed out. You see, I can take care of my soldiers sometimes. Not often, but sometimes. Let us move forward a little. This is a bad idea. This is a really bad idea. We could move you to here. Still can't see any of the uh, foes. You could also move. We probably actually want to throw something over to there at some point. Can we throw it from here? That's a good question. If we use throw and aim to here, 
no, 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 can't do it far enough. So you're going to go over to here, and you're going to hide. We really just want to hide here and hope that the aliens come to us. They may do! They're not going to, though, they're going to wait. They're being very clever about this. Very clever indeed. What if we were to try and throw it here? 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 We're terrible at throwing, aren't we? We're just really bad at it. We could go to here, but that will consume pretty much all of our turn units. And no aliens that we can see. We need to get into a position where we can start firing. Oh, hello! I think we might have found them. They're both here. Let's take a shot. That was terrible. Let's take another shot. That was worse. They're both readying to, uh, attack at some point. We're really bad at this, aren't we? We're really bad. Let us, uh, go quickly over to here. Oh! That was bad. Guild Pirate is gone! Angel, it's up to you now. Take a few shots and let's see what we can do. That was bad. That was worse. How many do you have? Ten? You can fire once, and that was enough to take care of you. Let's move. If you turn, you cannot shoot. We're gonna have to move you, aren't we? We're gonna have to move you over to somewhere that's a lot safer. We can't move you. We could move you. You're actually in a pretty good position to uh, take some shots at some point. You, of course, are not in a good position. You're rarely in a good position these days. We want you to move, though, over to here. Maybe this is the last of the, uh, aliens. I can only hope at this point that that is the case. Let's end the turn and see what happens. Not much hidden movement, which tells me that that might be the case. That alien is gone. Oh good! I like it when the aliens vanish, said nobody ever. Is the alien here? No. Can we throw this into here at last? Yes. That indeed is a gas station. It's a rather large gas station as well. Okay, what if we move you to here? Still can't see any aliens. As usual, the aliens are very good at hiding when they want to. Very good indeed, although this is the corner of the map, so there's really not much point in you standing there, Gaston. Standing there will just have you looking at nothing. We probably want to move you into a position where we may actually be able to fire with you. You haven't really done much this mission. I'm sure you will eventually. Okay, Sub-Zero, over here we go. We really need to get uh, at least one person to uh, be able to see that remaining alien. Chances are we can't, though. We could have you have a look. Nope, can't see you. Better stay there, then. End turn. Aha! Well, that's unfortunate. The good news is we can see you. The bad news is we can see you. Okay, time to start shooting. You're a big target. We're likely to be able to get lots of shots off. We can't get that many shots off. We could get one more. You're still alive. Time for you to fall back. Time for you to move instead. We can get a few shots off with your laser pistol. Pew pew! That was a miss. What about here? That was better. And eleven, we'd have eight more. That was bad. How far can we move you? Not very. We could fire a rocket! That's a terrible plan. It's a really, really bad plan. And we want to check to see... Nope, that uh, floater is still somewhere that we don't know the location of. We could have you fire. You can't see anything right now. I'm just gonna have you crouch. End turn. We heard one alien die. An alien has perished, and it could very well be that alien that we shot. No, it could very well be one of the floaters. But we have a shot here that we might as well try and take. 90%. One dead alien. There's still an alien around somewhere, though. There's still an alien around. I'm very worried about that alien being somewhere. Very worried. We need to move and find that alien, too. Okay, who's going to move and find that alien? 
Barry, Gaston, Gaston could move up. Probably more sensible for Barry to move forward and then for Gaston to take that position. And then for somebody to move over to here. You can move over, Angel. There we go. And this is when the alien is right here and we're in some serious trouble. But no, not the case. We can slowly start moving forward. Maybe we can see... Ah! There's an alien. Can we shoot you? We cannot. But we can ready for when we can shoot you. For we know where you are. We can go back over here and we can uh, sneak around slowly. We probably want you to move. It's going to be difficult, but we need you to move over to here. We might need that rocket launcher. In turn. That, I think, is the only alien. I don't think there are any more. I think that might be the last one. Which would be good, if that's the case. Big if. Big if. Okay, if we go into this building, going through, we can see one alien. Can we shoot the alien? We can try. That was a terrible shot back. I'm very glad that that was a terrible shot back. There is another alien. The mission would have ended had that have been the last alien. Okay, let us now assume some uh, more defensive positions because oh dear, this is still going. Okay, Gaston, where do you want to go? We really want you somewhere over here, like there. Slowly we're moving forward. I don't think there are any civilians left. I'm pretty sure they're all dead by now. But then again, there don't appear to be many aliens left either. Any aliens in here? No. We could finally move over to here and have a look at this area. This massive, massive fueling place. No aliens here. The corner of the map is there, so we could have you, Dr. Grant, move over here and grab one of these very quickly. Just uh, grab this, put it in your hand, and move back as quickly as you can. There we go. We'll have you move over to here and secure this corner. The last alien is always the most difficult alien to defeat. Always is. Has never not been. Let's just, uh, where do we want you to go? Over to here, I think. And end turn. That alien is just waiting. That alien is waiting for us. It knows that we are closing in. I don't know where it is, though. I really don't. Gaston? Can you find it? It's not here. It's definitely not here. Go over there just in case, uh, you would get shot. No aliens here. We can see a building. That's the edge of the map, so we are getting closer to being able to, uh, conclude this mission. Move very carefully forward, Angel. Very careful. Still haven't found this alien. The fact that we cannot see doesn't help. Crouch. It's not going to make much difference, but crouch anyway. Same for you, Barry. Crouch. We're going to move you, Awesome Possum, over to here. Maybe we'll just have to blow up all of these and hope that somehow that ends the mission for us. Aha! There is the floater. We have found the floater. And it's Gaston who has to make the shot. Okay. We could move you out, Sub-Zero. That means that we have multiple people to shoot. 24% accuracy or 41? Let's go with 24. That was a terrible shot. That was also a terrible shot. How many more? You could do one more. That was also terrible. Move back to safety. Okay, Gaston, it's all up to you. That was a miss. That was a hit. And unfortunately, Gaston paid with his life. But maybe we can avenge Gaston with Barry. Okay, Barry. A fine shot, but not enough. We need to shoot again. That was terrible. Time for you to hide. You can shoot yourself. Don't do that. Ooh, close. So close. You need to move. You need to move, and we need to let Angel take a few shots. It's a long way away, a very long way away. But that was a fine hit. That was also a fine hit. Is there another alien? 
There's another one, isn't there? Oh no. Oh yes, there is! And we know who's found that alien! Hello, Dr. Grant! You have found the alien! Okay, snapshots. You can't actually fire from there. That's kind of bad. We could have people move up to uh, surround this alien. We definitely need to move people up so that we can take some shots at some point. Okay. Move over to there. We've nearly lost half of our soldiers. We were doing so well. You need to move out. Turn. And you're going to have to take some shots. They're pretty terrible shots. Off you go. That was bad. That was bad. Uh, one more? That was good! Move. Move over there. Protect yourself. This is tense. This is really tense, but we know where the last alien is. It's right there. It is right there! Okay. We don't want to move anyone else right now. We want to have you facing that way. Awesome Possum, you might as well have a look here, just in case there are any more aliens. That may be the last one. I hope that's the last one. We've lost the alien. We don't know where it is. Has it moved? If it's moved, we can't find it. We don't know where it is. We should have kept our eye on it, but then again, if we'd have kept our eye on it, it could very well have just killed us. It probably will still kill us. We don't know where it's gone. Always the last alien that's the problem in this game. It's always the last one. Okay. Very slowly, we're going to have you move forward. Can we see the alien from here? No. No, we can't. We could move you to the relative safety of here. So that we have the potential of getting a better shot later. Where is, uh... Okay, we have just five soldiers left. And we can see some of them. Actually, we can see all of them now. That's pretty much it. That is all the soldiers that we have. Uh, we need to move you over to there. And wait. The alien is not revealing itself. The alien is being very smart. Let us move. We need to move closer. Okay, not there. That's fine. What about down here? Is the alien here? No? No? No. Alien is not here. Let's turn around and go to this window. Still cannot see the alien. We can see the alien now, though. It's right there. It's right there. We could deal with this by just blowing up these. But we're going to take a shot. Marvelous. There's another alien. Oh my, why are there more aliens? Why more? We don't want more aliens. We have killed enough aliens. Please give us this victory. But no, there is one more alien still to defeat. Let us go and find this final alien. We have found the final alien. It's right there. Let us take a shot. That was not a good shot. It in fact was a terrible shot. That was also a terrible shot. You need to move to safety. There is nowhere you can move that is safe. Nowhere. We're just going to have to take some shots and hope that you can kill this alien. Because otherwise, we're in some trouble. Okay, that didn't work. We're going to have to get some zero to take some shots now. Alright, snapshot here. Good shot. Excellent! We have won! And we killed 14 aliens. We recovered 14 corpses. We got alien artifacts. Civilians killed pretty much all of them. And we lost a lot of operatives. Our total was 13. But you know what? That's fine. We lost a lot of people. But we're on our way back to our base. We were victorious. We definitely need to replace some soldiers. Five of them. Let us do that right now, because that is, uh, not a good thing to have happened. That could have gone worse, though. Terror missions are bad. The first one is always bad, because you usually don't have the equipment to uh, easily take care of it. But we didn't do too badly. We still have a nice selection of soldiers. We still have both our sergeants and a selection of squaddies. We're going to have to go into the next mission with a large pile of rookies, though. But that could have gone much worse. And when we come back, folks, the first terror mission is over. Soon the first report of the month will happen. Will it be good? Will it be positive? We don't know. 
all we know is that we're heading back to the base. And I can only hope that that was enough for January. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.